Say good day, Chris. Good day, Chris. <laughs> this is Kiwi Chris at his best in Whitefish. Now let's go. Dad's been a big part of a lot of people's lives. He was a really massive people person. After losing him and hearing stories, you do realise how much he did for a lot of other people just by him being him. And I'm so proud of him for, for all that he became. Father and daughter. Who would have thought Jamie could ever snowboard? My name is Jamie Paul. I'm an artist. I grew up in New Zealand on a sheep farm and now I live in Sydney, Australia. All That You've Become is an exhibition that is exploring the connection between upbringing and who I am. Three months ago, we lost my dad to cancer. My stage of grief going through losing dad is cementing what he was to me and how he's influenced my life in pictures and paintings. I work mainly in watercolour and I paint realistic animal portraits in black and white. I paint art for purpose and choose subjects that mean something to me. Each artwork and subject for the show has been chosen because there is a story behind it. When we were growing up, there was a dog called Buster. Buster was Dad's best friend. He was the smartest, most beautiful, kind, human-brained, human soul dog. He died maybe when I was six, and I was begging and begging for my own dog for years. Then one Christmas, I got my own puppy, a little black and white fox terrier. We named him after Dad's Buster. He became part of our family, and he moved to Australia with us, and I guess after losing dad and working through the process, I realised that those two dogs were really the connection between me and my dad. He and my upbringing is the reason why I'm so passionate and so connected to animals. Mum was the one who supported and encouraged wholeheartedly my creative side. I'm almost two parts of two people. I wanted the exhibition and my artwork to pay homage to Dad, but it's not just about my family, it's about people walking away from it feeling their own realisation of their own memories of what their family and their upbringing has had on them. I kind of want people to see my images and foster and remember their own memories.